2010 Silver Mittens champion in Sam Bouquet. And for those of you wondering what the Silver Mittens are, it's a precursor to the Golden Gloves. It's for less experienced fighters not quite ready to compete in the gloves, they compete in the mittens. So Joey Muse is in the black and white trunks, bouquet in the black trunks that have the white trim and a little bit of red in them as well. A little bit hard to tell them apart because they're wearing similar clothing. Joey Muse wearing the white and red shoes. And the white and red gloves. Well, there you go. Yeah. That, that, that's a good way to do it. Muse got the white and red gloves. Bouquet's got the blue gloves. I like your thinking. Thank you. Now, when you spent some time in the Nonantum Boxing Club, Ben, did Joey fill you in on any techniques he uses? Uh, no, I really just learned from watching him because I saw him practicing with one of the trainers there. And he's really very quick with his punches. There's a lot of very, I don't know how I would describe it because I don't know boxing terminology too well, but... Joey making good use of the speed bag is what you're saying? Yes. So Joey Muse with some good hand speed, says our eyewitness Ben Weiner, who witnessed him in training earlier this week at the Nonantham Boxing Club. One round of boxing has concluded in this three-round affair. Joey Muse and Sam Bouquet. Rematch That's of the 2010 Silver Mittens Finals. And I would score that a pretty even round between the two of them. Yeah, it was a little bit hard to see who got the better of it. We'll see if things, if the gap starts to widen a little more between either guy here in the second and third frames. Well, Bouquet opens up with a nice jab left hand combination And the referee having to warn both fighters or inform them to break more than once thus far in the second round. So despite the fact that the first round was a little bit hard to score, Muse opening up a little here in the second round, but I think Bouquet has gotten the better uh, of this round as a whole. Because this is a Nonantum Boxing Club run event, there's a lot of NBC fans here in the crowd. By NBC, I mean Nonantum Boxing Club, not the television network. And I think that each and every time he does something, the crowd is going to react to it. But Bouquet is doing some good work here, and the crowd not reacting quite as passionately. 
which will that have an effect on the judges? They're, they can, they're only human, but you'd like to think they could remain impartial. But you gotta think the effect that you're seeing from Bouquet is that when the crowd is quiet, that's when you know that he's doing something right. Well, the second round comes to an end, and the first round, which was nearly even, the second round I would give to Bouquet. Ben, are you going to brag to all of your friends come Monday morning that there was a ring card girl about a foot away from you in a boxing ring while you were ringside commentating for television? I just might have to. I just might have to. That's something to brag about. The joys of being a 14-year-old. It will be good at lunchtime chatter. What school do you attend and what grade are you in right now, Ben? I'm a freshman at Holliston High School. So you're in high school now. You've made the jump from middle school. Big man on campus, big man ringside. Yeah, it took me three years. That being six, seven, and eighth grade. I gotcha. <laughs> Third and final round, crowd getting into this as both fighters swing away. The crowd are coming alive here in Newton, Massachusetts as Joey Muse putting forth his best effort here in the third round. Nice right hand by Muse, lands cleanly on the top of Bouquet's head. Muse obviously getting the better of this round and the crowd is just showing that right now. Joey Muse, certainly the more active fighter in the third round. And as the final bell sounds, the crowd erupts here in Newton, Massachusetts. As the Nonantan Boxing Club's Joey Muse may have just pulled out a victory in the third and final round. Ben, you and I both agreed the first round was rather even. I felt that Buquay deserved the second frame. How did you feel? Yeah, I, believe, I think uh, Buquay got the second round. But it really seemed like... Joey Mews got the best of the third round and will take this home here. Well, the judges' verdict will be in momentarily, but a very spirited fight nevertheless. What do you think won this fight? Very tough to say. When it comes to rounds, I have it even 1-1-1, one, one, one. but of course in amateur boxing when you're looking at the accumulation of scoring blows throughout the entire fight. We'll leave that in the hands of the judges, and we have a decision that is about to be announced right now. It really comes down to who had the better round that they won. I think that was Joey Muse. Joey Muse wins a decision over Sam 